Hi, I am Dr. Sunil Kumar Gupta, Director and Head of the Department of Hematomedical Oncology, Venkateshwar Cancer Center, Dwarka, Delhi. I have a 27 year experience of my field. I am talking about one of the commonest disease seen globally known as a lung cancer. If you see, it's very commonly seen in male as well as in female because smoking is prevalent throughout the globe and one of the major culprit for a lung cancer. Lung cancer is divided into two parts basically known as a non-small cell lung cancer which is in the tune of 80 to 85 percent while 15 to 20 percent patients are suffering from other lung cancer known as a small cell lung cancer which is spread very fast and dissemination of disease is commonly seen in various organ bones and brain in a small cell lung cancer but if you divided the non-small cell lung cancer which is the vast majority of patients are suffering is Variety is squamous cell carcinoma, commonly seen, versus the adenocarcinoma. If you see, there is so much revolution in the treatment of a lung cancer in last 4-5 years. Initially, we talked about only cytotoxic drug and slowly we are talking about number of other drugs. But I tell you, lung cancer is curative if picked up in early stage. You can go for a surgical resection followed by adjuvant treatment is giving a maximum survival. Till date, despite of a multi-modulatory treatment, 5-year survival in lung cancer is only 18%. This means we want to change the survival in lung cancer patient. We want to pick up the disease in early stage, then we can talk about a curative intact treatment in lung cancer. Lung cancer means a histopathology based personalized targeted treatment. If you talked about a squamous cell carcinoma, still we believe that the cytotoxic drug or a chemotherapy, I mean to say chemotherapy play an important role followed by PD-1 inhibitors role. But if you see the adenocarcinoma, the histopathology play an important role commonly seen in females, non-smoker as well as Asian origin side is commonly seen with the adenocarcinoma. These patients are basically female, Asian women, non-smoker are suffering from adenocarcinoma. And if you see in adenocarcinoma again, there are different varieties by the ISC. And those, those who are positive for EGFR mutations, we are giving a targeted therapy like tyrosine kinase inhibitors. The, those, those who are positive for ELK test, we are giving a specific targeted therapy. And those who are ROSE 1 inhibitors positive, we are giving a specific targeted therapy. The third one is a BRF, basically positive mutations, positive patients have a different drug and those who are having a PD-1L1 inhibitors or a PD-L1-2 inhibitors, we are having a different targeted therapy. This means in adenocarcinoma, we are having a four to five varieties of a targets. So you can hit the targets and get the maximum result in adenocarcinoma. So I can say that lung cancer is not a one disease. It's a heterogeneous disease need a personalized treatment as per histopathology and as per the recent test available for a targeted therapy then you can talk about a curative intent treatment in number of patients lung cancer means number of times surgeon is feeling dif difficulty to operate go for a new adjuvant chemotherapy 3-4 cycle then clinical assessment if possible then surgical resection if not possible then chemo radiotherapy is an option in stage 3b patients i can say that lung cancer when people are talking about 9 months to 14 months survival which increases to 18 to 21 months by the different targeted therapy and the five year survival definitely change with the personalized treatment i want to convey you that lung cancer is a disease which is routinely presented to oncologists in a very advanced stage. A screening trial shows that 55 to 74, you can go for a low dose CT scan in a high risk group. Those who are taking smoking 30 packs per day are having some advantage. Otherwise, a screening is not possible for a lung cancer. So lung cancer is a disease. If you see anybody is smoking, then try to say, please avoid this in a social places or a public places or stop the smoking or a tobacco in any form because second hand smoking itself is one of the culprit those who are not take, uh, taking any smoking or a tobacco in day to day life have a second smoke by inhalation and having a cancer and this is a second uh, smoke uh, patients are commonly seen in our clinical practice so my advice is try to avoid the smoking at a public place 
avoid the smoking and tobacco in your day to day life and and try to quit if possible because this is the major important uh, uh, carcinogenic for a lung cancer in your day to day practice so if you have any query you can call me or you can call my hospital for any query regarding the lung cancer